We decided to have this show because we thought it was beautiful work, because we like the concept of because we like the concept of people working together and appreciating each other's cultures and religions, not just tolerating them. And we felt that that's what these photographs showed. And then um, there was the election. <laughs> and it, it seemed like it became even more important to have something like this publicly produced to have programming around Islamophobia and what it means in a country that we live in that's going to be run by um, some kind of business mogul. And it isn't even partisan politics, it's just the reality of how divided everyone seemed during this time. And what our goal is, is to is to try to bust that myth that um, everybody Muslim is gonna, you know, is out to kill you, that everybody Christian hates Muslims, that Jews hate Muslims, that you know, Baptists hate Christians, and uh, all the rest of it. So our motivation just kind of expanded with the political situation. Robert Knight's work is special in all of those regards. And we're going to have some programming. Unfortunately, we can't tell you all of the dates because we're having a little trouble getting descriptions from all of the people that are going to be presenting here. But there's going to be, I think, some interesting programs, both a little bit before and then after the holidays. So I hope that you'll, if you're not on our mailing list, I hope you'll sign up, because that's how you'll find out about them. And they'll be on our website. And Robert's going to speak. He's going to do an artist talk here that date, I do know, January 19th. And I, I hope that you'll tell more people about that, and you'll tell people to come to this show and try to experience what we're hoping they will when they come. So I'm going to introduce Robert to you. He's going to say a little bit, and then um, a good friend of Robert's, Bob Gates, also an amazing photographer, is going to speak to you. So let's welcome Robert Knight. Thank you. Thank you so much, Rose, and for the kind words, and thank you all for coming tonight. Um, I, first of all, just again, just to thank uh, Rose and, and everyone at ArtRage for allowing me to show this work here and to have a venue. Uh, I think as an artist, and many, many people here are artists, know how uh, important it is to share our work with others and to have spaces like this to do that. And I feel very privileged to be able to, to, to uh, share this work in this space. And it's such a wonderful space to show work in. It's a really fantastic uh, venue in its size, in its lighting, in its um, uh, kind of, kind of a scale of, of, of like a space to, to show work like this in. Um, so thank you for that. Um, just a little bit of background about this project. Um, I moved to upstate New York in 2011 uh, with my family. Started a job at Hamilton College teaching photography. And one of the things I wanted to do when I came here, I, I didn't really know what I was going to work on when I started um, teaching at Hamilton in terms of my own photographs. And one of the things I wanted to do was to try and get to know the community that I was, that I was living in, uh, which was Clinton and it was near Utica. And I started a collaboration with a colleague who taught in religious studies um, who had, had interest in um, objects and in senses and in my sensory experience related to religion. And I started a collaboration with him photographing uh, spaces in Utica, religious spaces, um, particularly ones that were going through change. And um, I think uh, that, that, that project was a two-year project. It resulted in a documentary film and a series of photographs. Uh, a little piece of that documentary film is on that video screen back there. It's a, it's a segment about the um, Bosnian Islamic Mosque in Utica on Corp Street, which was a former Methodist church and it was transformed um, not very long ago uh, through a lot of labor on the part of the Bosnian community to turn it into uh, what it is today. Um, and I would say that, um, you know, speaking to, to some of the things that Rose said in her comments, that 
Um, for me, I, I didn't know a lot about Islam when I started that project. Um, I was not religious growing up. I did not have a religious background. Um, I uh, was raised in a sort of half Jewish, half Christian, but very uh, sort of relaxed religious household. Um, and, uh, and so for me, this was a learning process to understand people different than myself and to learn about Islam through working on this project and also to learn more about Christianity as well. Um, and uh, that project, again, it, it, it uh, was, a, was a really rewarding project. And when I finished that and I had a chunk of time, a sabbatical from my job, I was able to travel um, over to Europe and I decided to try and continue this project there where obviously there was a lot of uh, news in the media about uh, migration and Islamophobia and tensions around the different faiths and um, so I wanted to try and I set out to look at those spaces in particular and actually I wanted to include um, Jewish spaces as well but I had a lot of trouble during my time there to get access to Jewish spaces. Um, I was more, uh, had more receptive, res positive response from the Christian and, and Muslim communities in terms of making the photographs that you see here. Um, so it was not intentionally to, to leave out other faiths, it was more about what I was able to get access to during my time there. Um, I found those communities, the Christian communities and the, and the Muslim communities, quite receptive to um, allowing me to come in and make this work. And I think particularly with the, with the Muslim community, they um, there, you know, there is obviously so much negativity in the media about about uh, their faith, and they therefore wanted to, to they were willing to participate in the project because they wanted to um, to show that they were open and, and that they wanted to share the positive qualities and, and what was actually happening in their spaces and be open to that and not uh, not closed off to outsiders. Um, and so that was the process that, that I went through, and I spent six months making these photographs. And um, at this point, it's in a little bit of a, a hiatus. I come back, I, I've been um, spending a lot of time teaching and focusing on, on work uh, at, at Hamilton, and, but I'm hoping to continue this project uh, going forward and expand it in the future. So thank you again for coming tonight. And again, I will be giving a talk on January 19th that will be a little bit more extensive about my work, so please do come. Uh, then I'm happy to answer questions tonight if anyone has some, and I know Bob wants to say something. So thank you again. Thank you. So I'm a board member of Art Rage, um, and my uh, task tonight is to do what we fondly call the ask. Um, and you know, I remember the first time I. I asked people for things like uh, when I was in grammar school and went around and tried to sell magazines or cookies or whatever, and I hated it, I hated it. I love this. I love to come and ask you for money. Because I'm giving you an opportunity, and I want to give you that opportunity, I enjoy giving you an opportunity, to support this amazing space. And particularly to support not this show, you've come to this show, you've seen this show, it's wonderful, we've managed to mount it, whatever that involved. But for whatever will come in the future that you don't know, and every time we have a show, we surprise you, we amaze you. You say, wow, I wouldn't have thought I would see a show like this. And that happens every time, you know, five times a year. That's what we do. <laughs> so, in order to do that, we need support. We have a lot, many of you are already supporters. You volunteer, you sponsor shows, but just a little more tonight, okay? So on Tuesday, when, when I take out my wallet and I go to buy something in the store, I'll say, where was that 20, I thought I had a 20 pound <laughs> Oh, I gave it to our <laughs> on Saturday night. So Vince and Mary, hold up your baskets. They're coming around. There's money in it already. Please be generous and fill the baskets. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you.